producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna make a track idea with using Anna 2 synth from Slate Digital. So that synth is really handy. It has a classic synthesizer with oscillators, but also it has an engine that can play the synth. You can merge oscillators with synth-based engine and you can create a really cool different sounds, which we call like a hybrid synth. And you know me, I like to find fresh sounds and use it on my tracks. I like to dig into the preset packs. And also you can get Anna 2 Ultra Bundle and you can try it for for free you don't pay anything for a one month and with the ultra bundle you can just try download any of the slate digital plugins plus sample packs plus tutorials master classes there are so much content in it so without paying anything you have one month to test everything out there are no limitations all useful information about it in the description enough talking let's get into that tutorial so this is Anna 2 it's a beautiful looking synthesizer slate digital releasing preset packs for the Anna 2 are regularly so there is always some cool fresh sounds I think the preset quality is good and you know me I like to tweak the preset and like to get used to the synth takes like an hour I'm not saying I can build a super cool sound with it right now but I know enough to tweak the presets you know and there are good macros every preset has macros you can customize you can automate and you can come up with something really cool so I was digging their sample packs they are releasing some genre specific sample packs I find this vocal in one of their packs I would want Walk a million miles just to look into your eyes, feel you in my veins. It's a beautiful progressive house vocal, but I'm gonna make it fast. So let's do it. It's 126, and I'm gonna go stretch pro, which is the best for stretching vocals. And also, in my head, I'm gonna use one of my kicks in the drop, uh, which is G-sharp. So I'm thinking to make my track in G-sharp. That's why I'm gonna pitch it one semitone up. And we have this vocal right now. I would walk a million miles. And actually, the vocals are already, like, processed. But I like to use uh, one of the channel strips. Uh, let's go choose air vocals. So it's EQ some compression and a coloring uh, EQ. We have three modules. I would walk a million miles just to look into your eyes, feel you in my veins. It's really make it in your face. Now I'm gonna put some EQ on it. I would walk but I'm not gonna EQ it hardly or color it that much because we need to hear other elements in the mix as well. I would walk a million miles just to look into your eyes, feel you in my veins. I would walk, I would walk, I would walk a million miles just to look in And lastly, I'm gonna just drag drop my famous patcher patch. I would walk a million miles just to look into your eyes. Okay, let's add the bass because we cannot imagine a break without a Reese bass. Get Anna 2. I'm gonna call it Reese, not to get confused. Let's check the macros. But this is what I'm looking for. The previous one is also really nice sound to make a Reese, but I like the like the texture. I think it's this vinyl. Yeah, it's really decent. Now let's test it out with the vocals. Dancing, 
Now I need some pet sound top of that one. Um, and probably we are gonna need to like put a chord if we are using a pet. I think. Okay, let's find the sound first. Clone this one. Let's send it to the next channel. Call it pet. Always good to go organized. Okay, so I think one of the new packs was this one. It's really nice. You can choose any category and also genre and also subcategory, which is really nice. And you can customize your search really easily. To filter only the pets, I need to click the category and that's all. If I go all, it's gonna show the all pets in all other packs. But if I just click here, it's gonna customize my search result. So let's see which one we can use. <laughs> This sounds really nice. I think it's gonna fit really well with the vocals. If you see like we have the traditional oscillators, but in the other hand, we have a sampler and the synth is just combining two different uh, techniques and, and creating this hybrid sounds. Okay, let's see what macros we can use. It's amazing. Let's check the other sounds as well. I think this is uh, more close to something in my head, but I think we can also use the other sound as well, but not with chord, maybe only like a one layer. And right now we are generating this waveform and also we are sampling this section, this portion uh, of the sample. And you can always change the loop point, starting point and, and create some customized preset. I'm going to just do some random changes and see how it's going to affect the sound. It's creating a really small difference, but it's affecting the whole sound. Okay, I think uh, we can use this one. Let's make sure we are cutting the low frequencies out of it. Let's make it even wider. I just want to clone this pad, get the first notes. 
Even I can use it in the same channel, but I just wanted to use the first sound that we find. Sounds good and I'm gonna just make a small touch with automating the peak reduction. Let's do it like this. Maybe it can go like this in time and it can go back. I mean can just repeat this one. So it's gonna add more movement to the sound. Now I'm gonna add several background stuff like drums or FX sounds. One of the most important things in the breaks, you should have uh, several textures uh, that can give some identity to the parts. Uh, let's go check the cinematic 2 pack. I'm gonna go atmosphere in here and let's see what kind of sounds we have. <laughs> Oh, if I make side trance, probably use this one as my drop lead. It sounds nice. I think I'm gonna go with it. And also maybe we can just use the alien one. Let's see if they gonna fit well at the same time. We can work them. Okay, I think we can start making our drop now. We have pretty much all the essential elements in the break. This is the kick I'm gonna use. It's hell of a big techno kick. And you probably know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna create my techno rumble with it. So you probably know all the process. Let me do it quickly. I'm just quickly gonna generate the rumble and after that I'm gonna remove the dry signal and just record the rumble. And after that you can drag drop so don't forget to send it to some new channel call it sub or whatever you want and we just need to place it until we like it. So I'm just gonna cut it like this and duplicate it.
So now we have the kick and bass. I thought my kick was G sharp, that's why I made everything uh, G sharp. Now I'm just realizing my kick is G. Okay, let's go back. Everything one semitone down. It's nothing big problem. And let's do it for all. Okay, it's already sound good. Let's go making the drop. So I just need some lead idea that and after that I'm gonna connect my bot part, my break and my drop with a build up. But yeah, let's go N2 again and check several, I don't know, interesting sounds. So you can just filter maybe leads and maybe go techno. I'm just gonna send it to some another channel. Such nice sounds to make some feels with them. Maybe I can just go all and search for some ARP. Oh, let me write the MIDI first. It sounds like the sandstorm. I just love this sound. We can do something like this. Let's. Yeah, maybe at some point we can make some uh, pitch automations for it. But at first, I think this can work. So in the synth, uh, you see the bottom panel, right? So this ARP is lightning, that means ARP is activated. If I do it, it's gonna be like a one shot. If you want to use ARP, you can just activate it. And if you want to change the ARP, you can just click on it and you can write your own progression or even you can choose several presets in here. And yeah, for the FX, it's same. It's delay and reverb. If you click them, you get the controls of them. I think I should deactivate delay and reverb. Since I'm using my own patch, we don't need to use uh, any of the internal ones. <laughs> So I'm quickly processing my sound with adding a love cut to it. Now the bass line, it's I think too like bam ba ba bam ba but too sharp. What if we have a more smooth pattern? I'm just gonna try to use it as before and see like like the original sound we recorded not the chop version let's try okay let's keep it like this i think it's gonna fit better with the lead itself Okay, let's get some drums. I'm gonna clean the sample a bit. 
you are going to have more control if you want to change the envelope settings or something if you use the MIDI. That's why for drums I like to use MIDI. Let's make the heads a bit bigger. And I'm gonna copy it to the second part as well. And let's get some closed heads for the second part of the drop. This time we are gonna have a pattern like this. And let me just duplicate the first so we can just call it like a rolling head. So let's listen it without leads. It's gonna sound like this. But the rolling head is too mechanic if it makes sense. So to humanize it, let's go quantizer and choose techno preset. It's gonna change the velocity. And also you can go to the pan. I know just pan it just a little bit like left, right, left, right. And then it's gonna sound more big and wide. Shorten the open head a bit more. Now it's more tight and not interfering with the kick. We are going to need several background sounds. I'm gonna cut it instantly and also we can just loop the ending. I'm just gonna side chain it and cut the low frequencies. Okay, now I think we are gonna need some big horn sound because every drop needs to impact big when it first come. That's why the, the, the first hit is really important. Let's go clone this Anna. No, I'm so disorganized. I didn't even write the names of it. I think this, this one was the lead. This is going to be the horn. So let's send it to maybe here. Wow. Okay, let's check what the Circuit Breaker pack has. I think you can click here to group the categories. And you can use some bass sound or a lead sound or even a synth. can be. I think this fits nice. I think this can fit nice since it's kind of like a future ravish sound. It's uh, gonna be good I think in the drop. Always I like to saturate this kind of sound and after saturating, cutting the lows. 
And let's give it maybe like five seconds or something reverb. So it can be really wide. So to make the drop full, I'm just gonna record the horn with a really long decay reverb. And after that, I'm just gonna cut the beginning part, make it reverse, normalize, fade in and drag drop to the project. My producer friend Max teach me these shortcuts and it's really a time saver. I can just choose generic and then I can just, you know, put this in any time I want before the horn. And it's gonna make some kind of preparation for the horn sound like this. Okay, we need to connect the parts, the break section and the drop section. Let's listen what you have till now. And yeah, let's go choose Don't Let Me Go sound. I checked this sound before I start shooting this video. It's really dope, like I thought I can use it on a fill. It sounds like this. You know, it's really good to connect the parts. I think we can use it like this. Let's call it fill. I'm gonna send it to some other channel. I'm just gonna copy the horn and call it Fill. Maybe let's remove the reverb because I can use the reverb inside of the plugin. Okay, let's automate the volume for Reese in this last part. So now it sounds smooth when we go one bass to another. And I can use this fill uh, probably in most of the places. But yeah, first I just need to do that. Let's go copy this one to here. So this is going to be the uh, build up. I think we need a bit more space than this. Maybe like this. And I'm just gonna put a riser. <laughs> I can just copy those guys. And of course, we don't need any sidechain before the drop. So let's uh, filter in the leads.
Yeah, I'm thinking the build up inside my head. How should I make it? I think I'm in a conclusion. Okay, drop should start from here. Let's quickly move everything. I think we are almost there. I just want to wash out the leads with some plate reverb. Yeah, with this, it's gonna be more glued to the track. We can just create some automation like this. And also in the second part, I'm thinking something like this. This is all your creation now. Maybe we can just clone this lead. Go and deactivate the ARP. Full control on MIDI now. And we can just create some another pattern, you know? Let's copy everything from the first part. Again, I'm gonna copy and behind it and we can just create some uh, pitch automation for the lead and it can be an outro for the drop. If you make a long drop, you can do some variation like this. I'm gonna make my pitch band 12 and in the FL Studio I'm gonna make it 12 as well. Tweak the pitch once, 
create automation clip for it. So we can do it like this. The modulation inside of the sound already so unique, so I don't need to do anything else. I'm just adding three notes and it sounds good. You know, yeah, I should finish the idea right now, but when I do tracks, I tried more variations top of each other and see which is the best. If you see working progress tracks of mine, I have maybe five different drop ideas in same project. Sometimes I'm muting the other one and trying testing that one out. So always trying some variations. I'm telling you this because I just think what if I check some of the acid sounds in here? Can it be good behind the last part? I think all we need to maybe let's go new pattern. If I wanna use it, I probably can do something like that. I can skip the uh, pitch automation to the second part, you know. Uh, we can just have it regular in the first part. And it can go up in the second part. We can copy everything from here. So it's gonna be the long drop. If we wanna add a new sound, such as this 303, we should uh, give it more time to mix the idea. Again, let's copy everything. I'm gonna filter the acid in, maybe in here. Guys, before I finish the video, I just want to make some small um, build-up automation. I want to make the drop impact a bit bigger. And I think we need some one-shot sample. I get an acid shot from medics. So I'm gonna make the build-up like this. So it's gonna hit in here. All right, guys, I think we can take a final listen. What do we have? I really enjoyed while exploring Anna 2 synth. Anna 2 synth got really cool sound, which is not overused. That's why I like to dig into their packs and see what sound do they have and have to customize it and use it on my projects. And also, if you want to check the Anna 2 out with any other Slate Digital plugins, you can get all access to everything for free one month. You can have the trial. So you don't pay, but you can use everything with no limits for one month. And I think it's really worth to check it out. So I'm gonna play the final result now. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you can apply this to your own productions too. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video. Bye bye. I would